If you are someone who has decided to buy the Galaxy S22 Ultra, it means that you already eliminated most of your choices in the now crowded Android market. After all, it is not a phone that everyone can afford. Unless you are someone who is specifically looking at the S22 Ultra, well, you are not missing much, considering that Samsung has enabled some of those uh, flagship features in the previous phones in the S series. So guys, I'm not trying to say that S22 Ultra is a bad choice by any means. It's a pretty looking phone and powerful at the same time. So if you are still thinking to buy it, then I hope this video will help you decide as I picked few reasons why it's worth buying it. So let's talk about the display. Everyone knows Samsung phones have the best displays. I mean, not everyone, but everyone. The S22 Ultra has a 6.8 inch AMOLED screen curved around the edges giving it a classy touch and finish. On top of uh, this uh, cool screen we having a unique feature called dynamic refresh rate that ranges between 1 Hz and 120 Hz. Basically what this means is that the display is uh, ramping up the refresh rate when you're watching a video or you're playing a game and then it can scale back down to lower a refresh rate when you are just reading an article or the activity on the screen is more static so uh, that way it will uh, help with uh, battery consumption you will have uh, less battery consumption there is also another interesting feature called uh, vision booster technology as the name suggests, it will uh, boost colors and brightness in low light conditions. Basically, it's adjusting the display and balancing the colors based on the ambient lighting. So uh, you shouldn't ha have to dive in your uh, phone settings to get a clear view of the screen and adjusting the brightness. It will do that automatically for you. That's pretty cool. And there is one more thing that we have to talk about regarding the display. I know there is a lot to talk about, but this is pretty important. It's the screen brightness, which uh, S22 Ultra can go up to 1750 nits. That's way more than the uh, competition, like the iPhone 13 uh, Pro, for example. So show me another uh, a smartphone that has such a bright display. But uh, let's uh, talk actual numbers. Uh, on the actual tests, it actually is more like 1300 nits, but still better than the iPhone 13 Pro Max as a reference, which scored close to 1000 nits. So all those nits means that you are never gonna struggle to make out what's on your Galaxy S22 Ultra screen in bright sunlight. Now I don't have an iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max to do a side-by-side -side comparison but here is how it stands uh, next to my uh, iPhone 12 mini. You can clearly see that the Samsung is just brighter. S Pen. So let's talk about the S Pen because everyone loves their S Pen. So just starting with a little bit of history uh, Samsung decided that it might be a good idea for the users to have an S Pen support for some of their lineup other than Note series. So they decided to introduce the S Pen support to the S21 Ultra, but it never felt like an integrated part of the phone. Just because you had to buy uh, that S Pen uh, separately and also the uh, S21 Ultra didn't have an actual uh, slot where to uh, keep it and charge it. But uh, things have changed with the S22 Ultra which now includes a slot for the S Pen. So that means you are uh, getting a Galaxy Note at a lower cost. Or uh, who knows, maybe the uh, Ultra series becomes the new Note, so they will probably uh, stop making Notes, who knows. Now, uh, if you are so interested in this S Pen, um, it has some uh, good improvements uh, from the previous generation. So the uh, S Pen included with your S22 Ultra also to happens to be faster than before. It has a 70% speed improvement and less lag. So that means 
you can have more accurate handwriting to text conversion and stylus specific features incorporated into Microsoft Outlook or whatever apps. And this is a welcome addition to the Galaxy S Ultra model, especially if you uh, view your phone as a productivity tool. Right now let's talk about fast charging and the battery. Uh, unfortunately you will still have to supply your own uh, charger. Samsung doesn't include one of those uh, uh, with the uh, S22 Ultra. This uh, smartphone comes with a massive uh, 5000 milliamp battery and supports cable fast charging up to 45 watts and up to uh, 15 watts of wireless charging. So what this means for you? Well, having a 45 watts charging means that you can charge a drain S22 Ultra to a 50% charge after just 20 minutes. That's 10 minutes faster than what it took S21 Ultra to reach that mark. And it's also twice the top charging speed of the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but you will need a fast charger for that. Now, a bigger phone does not necessarily mean a better battery performance. However, the battery life you are getting in the S22 Ultra is fairly good. But a word of uh, caution, before I updated the, the uh, phone to the latest available update, which was a while ago in March, I had some uh, hearing issues with the, uh, with the phone. Um, it was just getting uh, warm and sometimes uh, pretty, pretty hot, when, especially when I was using the mobile data. But as I said, uh, that issue seems to be uh, gone away after uh, that update, which seems like it included a performance management feature uh, based on the device temperature and other uh, improvements so if you are experiencing uh, these uh, heating issues uh, it probably will be a good idea to update it to the latest available software and that should uh, fix uh, those issues now the question remains should you buy it well it's giant it's expensive and might be overkill for people who simply want a nice screen, decent photos and a good on-screen social media experience. And overall for the average user, the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the best premium Android phone and is very close to being the best phone, period. If you love to take notes by hand or if you are an artist who has brilliant ideas on the go, this might be for you. If you have tiny hands, trust me, even the curved edges don't completely cut down the size, plus it's a slippery device unless you using a case, but you have all those information, at the end it's your choice. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of content, please click like and subscribe for more.